at the Intel booth and we're looking at the Infoscape and to explain this, we're going to talk to Alistair about this. What are we looking at? So we're looking at a custom application made by Intel, it's called the Infoscape, and this features the 2010 all-new core family of processors. This is being run on a single i7 processor, and, and right now you're looking at 500 links that are uh, that, that you can click at any time, you can touch the screen at any time, and it's, and it's connected to a live link. Uh, what I've got here is a control panel where I can control things like the frequency, I can change the pitch. And you're running this off of a laptop? Yeah, this is a, a, the, a Core i5 laptop okay. that's controlling the i7 processor. All right. So this changes the frequency, and I can change the distance so we can zoom in on the cubes. And then I can also change the content. And right now we have Flickr feeds. I'm going to shut off the Flickr feeds. And now that's all Twitter feeds. I can wipe the Twitter feeds. And then I can add Google, just Google News. Now what content are you looking for? Are you, are you searching for any particular keywords? Actually, so it's, it's under one of six different platforms. Um, environment, communications, entertainment, habitat, healthcare, or transportation. So th this is the, the different platforms that Intel is interested in filtering. So flat out Intel is showing the power of the i7 right here. That's right. Because this is phenomenally just difficult to do. You're pulling down all this internet content and displaying it in image form while spinning it in 3D. That's right. And also it's just to show that Intel is committed to being more than just a technology company that makes processors. It's also an, a company that's interested in looking at in order to make the best processes for tomorrow, it's got to figure out how people are accessing information tomorrow. Very cool. That's the Intel Infoscape.